Hey there everyone, my name is WBuilds and welcome back to the Minecraft video. So today we're going to be looking at enderpearl stasis chambers and I will be showing you how to make vertical ones and horizontal ones. So first let's go over what an enderpearl stasis chamber is. So this is a vertical one and when you press the button you'll be teleported up here. So the way that they work is that you just send a redstone signal upwards and you have a soul sand elevator and you have an ender pearl in that, just floating at the top. When this trapdoor right here closes, you get teleported to there because the ender pearl hits it. So they're pretty simple to make and they are extremely effective. This is a horizontal one. There we go. It's the same prospect, just horizontal. Now, one downside with these is you do have to prime them every time. So, yeah. I guess you could put a ton in. But that... I mean, that, that's not going to make any difference. Unless you could have, like a ton of holding chambers, but I'm just going to get teleported to this spot three times. You cannot, like, have a, a million in there. Okay, so now let's go into how to build these. You are going to need water. You only really need two buckets. For the vertical one, you need two pieces of obsidian, although I guess you could just get by with one and use a different solid block. You, I use glass because I like it, but that's any building block, and as many as you want. You want to have it like at least 10 blocks of water so the enderpearl doesn't hit the bottom. One block of soul sand, two pieces of the redstone dust for this one up here with the vertical, and one piece for the horizontal. You'll need one piston, 11 slime, and one redstone block per section. And you can have as many of those as you want. And one button. You will also need um, your trapdoor. And yeah. So let's build this. What you're going to want to do is just place down your piston. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and eleven. Redstone block. And you can build another on top of that, like this. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. 10 redstone. Now, you're going to want to place two obsidian coming off of that, or an obsidian and one solid block, or like a furnace. You just cannot have this be a movable block, otherwise it will get pulled down by this slime block right here. Place your two redstone on top of those. Then, going down from here, you're going to want to go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, I'm going to go 11. Then put your soul sand under there like that. And then take the glass back up. Just like this. And yeah, it's not difficult at all. Okay, now right here is where you're going to want to put your trap door. So you're going to place it down, and have it like that. Then you're going to go and fill up this tube with water. So, like that. Okay, now you have your Dark Stasis Paint Chamber built. So, the button, which you need to put right there next to the piston. Or on the piston, you, you can just make sure that you're powering it. You can hide all this behind the wall. You can do whatever you want. Ender Pearl down there. See, that's why you need 10 blocks, because it almost makes it to the bottom. But you do not want this ender pearl to hit down there, otherwise you won't have it be stored. Now when you press the button, go up, and you're taken to the top. Now to build a horizontal one, what you're going to want to do is place down a block with a button on top of that block. Now you want to put your fit piston facing in the direction that you want to go. Coming off of the button. So we're going to go this way. 
And now you need your slime. I'm just gonna do a couple blocks. And right here, you're going to put one dot of redstone dust. Dig down on the next block. You don't have to dig down that far. I don't know why I did. And you do need to make sure that you get all of them. Okay. Now, place your trap door. Take that again. Throw your underpearl down. And it is primed. So if we press the button, we are taken right over here. Thank you so much for watching, and don't forget to like and subscribe so you never miss out on another Minecraft video. And I will see you all in the next one. Goodbye!